Hey everybody, so recently a movie came out called Star Wars The Last Jedi, and ever since then, I've just been licking my wounds. Let's be honest, nobody really needed another Star Wars movie. The Force Awakens already provided a satisfying conclusion to the series, tying up all those juicy loose ends and picking up right where Attack of the Clones left off. That said, I can't deny that I was willing to see The Last Jedi. Hell, I even saw it in 3D. But what I got left me with one question. Why did this movie have to happen to me? Looking at The Last Jedi objectively, as I'm about to, we can see everything from small dings to big honkers. And today, I'll be looking at five of these dings and honkers. Number one. Where's Han Solo? He was my favorite part of The Force Awakens. In the film, we can see just how far his character has developed since Attack of the Clones. My personal favorite scene was when Kylo Ren killed Han Solo. It was a brilliant plot point, and it let us know that even Han Solo can be felled by a literal child. But, let's be real, where was he in The Last Jedi? I couldn't believe it. It was like they just forgot him. So, if they do make another sequel, goddess forbid, I would ask them to at least give Han Solo a small part. Perhaps even tell us, the die-hard fans, what we so desperately need to hear. That Han Solo is fine, and still rockin' in the free world. Number 2. So, after seeing The Last Jedi, I had one major question on my mind. Why isn't there any space dust? Space dust is one of the most exciting things about space. The way it covers the human body, the way it coats flesh. And going into the theater, I thought I would get to see space dust cover Rey from head to toe, cover her until she had to wash her clothes to get all the space dust off. That could have made for an amazing and heartfelt scene, and added some much needed content to the movie. But in the end, all we got was a stark break from the rational. Number three. Okay, to be honest, this one is sort of a nitpick but I can't stop thinking about it and it ruined the entire movie for me. Why is Rey so dang slow? Rey is supposed to have force powers inside of her. Medochlorins are supposed to be filling up her body. And yet, when she walks, she just looks like a regular human woman. I can't cope with how much I hate this movie. Number four. Jar Jar Binks only has a bit part, and I'm still fuming about it. In the original series, Jar Jar was a much-needed comedic break from all the intense pod racing. But this movie is basically 100% pod racing, with almost no Jar Jar to contextualize how meaningful that pod racing is. Jar Jar just comes in, says one line about how much fun he's having, and then leaves without even making one of his famous Jar Jar fart jokes. I can't even believe they would call that a movie. Number 5. Luke Skywalker still can't read. Just once, just one time in this three-hour star fest, I'd like to see Luke Skywalker take out a magazine, have another character, hopefully Han Solo or Jar Jar Binks, look at him and say, how can you read that? I thought you were illiterate. When Luke says, nope, I learned how to read on Hoth. Can you even imagine the pleasure of knowing that Luke Skywalker is able to read? Can you imagine the relief you'd feel watching him read that magazine? It's almost too much to cope with. So, all things considered, The Last Jedi was so bad that I couldn't even believe it. I first watched it with my GF at the time, and later on, we broke up. It's okay that we broke up, because I realized that I could have new GFs and have other good experiences without her, but still, it hurt more than any experience I've ever had. And that, plus the other five reasons I just gave, is the reason why The Last Jedi is the worst movie of all time. I couldn't get through 10 minutes of it.